Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design PUBG tournament poster design in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want the completely designed poster.psd file means hit the like button. Soon after reaching 500 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to file, new and create a new canvas in Photoshop based on your requirements. Else you can go to project file, open the PUBG poster PSD file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file. I have given you the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. Canvas size is A4. As I said before, if you want, you can create your own canvas. Next we are going to create a gradient background. For that go to background group, create a layer. Now go to color picker, pick any color you want. Now fill the color, I used keyboard shortcut. Alt Backspace, next right click the layer, go to Blending option, select Gradient Overlay. There I am going to keep the mode as normal, opacity as 100, click the gradient bar, click the fourth gradient bar. We are going to create new color stop for our gradient bar. On left side I am going with purple color, this one. Next at the center I will create a new color stop. Here I am going with color pink. Sample and select the color from the color palette. Next on right side, we are going to create a new color. I am going with yellow color. This one. Fine. Now our gradient is ready. Click OK. Now I am going to keep the style as linear. I will change the angle as 43. And I will keep the scale as 107. Of course you don't need to go with exactly very same number. Feel free to experiment. Now our gradient background is ready. Next we are going to drop in our stock images. Let's start by adding our mobile stock image. For that go to project file. Open the mobile stock image inside Photoshop. This one is neatly cropped .png file. I drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image inside image group. Now we enable free transform tool control T and give a clockwise rotation a little bit. You can resize the image if you want. I'll settle with this one. Next we're going to add our model image. Go to the project file, open model image inside Photoshop. And again yes this one is neatly cropped .png file. If you want to use any other PUBG related model image means feel free to use it. Now drag and drop the model image inside our canvas. Enable free transform tool control T. Now give a slight anti-clockwise rotation. Feel free to adjust the stock image so that both the images blends neatly. Make sure to use the keyboard arrow keys to adjust the stock image's position. Once you're done, next we're going to take care of the bottom part. We're going to use masking technique, create a masking layer for our model image. Once you created a masking layer, now go to color picker and pick black color. Now pick the brush tool. In the brush panel, I'm going to select hard round brush. Now here's the trick. Now select the mobile layer, this one. Now hold control key and click the thumbnail. We made a selection. Now roll back and select the model masking layer. Now start painting black color so that the parts we don't want will be masked. Now hit control D to deselect. Now again paint black color so that the parts we don't want will be masked. Once you're done, there you go, we created a cool pop out effect. Next we're going to drop in our background image. For that go to the project file, open the background image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now make sure to place the image right below the model image. Fine, now I'll reduce the layer opacity around 80 to 70 percent so that the background layer will be visible. Now enable free transform tool control T and resize it and give a clockwise rotation like so. I'll place it here. Fine once you're done now increase the opacity to 100 percent. Now we are going to repeat more or less very same step. We are going to mask the parts we don't want for that create a masking layer. Fine. Now go to color picker, select black color. 
Now pick the brush tool, select hard round brush. Yes, we're going to repeat the very same step. Now roll back and select the mobile layer. Hold control key and click the thumbnail. Now roll back and select the background layer. There, select the masking layer. Now, now paint black color and mask the parts we don't want. Fine. Now hit control D to deselect. Now I'm going to erase, sorry, mask all the parts I don't want by painting black color. Fine, now our background is ready. Next, we're going to add our Firestock image. For that, go to the project file. Open Firestock image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place this image right above all our layers. Fine, we're going to place the Firestock image on bottom left side. Now I'll reduce the opacity down to 60 to 70 percent so that our background layers will be visible. Now enable free transform to control T and give a slight protection. I'll place it here. Once you're done with the resizing part, now increase the opacity to 100 percent. Now change the layer blending mode to screen so that all those black parts will turn invisible. Next we're going to use the same masking technique. Let's start by creating a masking layer. Now go to color picker, select back color in brush tool, pick hard round brush. Yes, we are going to repeat the very same step. Hold control key and click the mobile layer thumbnail and make a selection. Now hold back and select the fire stock image masking layer and add black color to mask the parts we don't want. Hit control D to deselect. Next paint black color on the parts you don't want to be visible. Here I am going to change the brush option. I'm going with soft round brush i'm using same black color i'll reduce the flow a little bit and i'll give few clicks i'm going with 62 percent i give few clicks so that it blends with the background image once you're done next we're going to add smoke effect so that our fire stock image will look a little more realistic and vivid for that go to the project file double click and install the smoke brush fine now roll back to Photoshop. Now create a new layer right below the fire stock image. Now go to color picker, select black color. Now pick the brush tool. There I'm going to select the newly installed smoke brush, this one. Now reduce the flow down to 60 to 70%. Now give few clicks to create realistic smoke effect. Fine, once you're done, next we're going to add debris stock images to create the blast effect. For that, go to the project file, open the debris stock image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image right below the fire stock image. Else you can place the stock image right below the model stock image, it's up to you. Now enable free to to control T and give a clockwise rotation and resize the image so that it blends with the other images. Once you're done, next we're going to add two more stock images to create that realistic action effect. Let's start by adding bullet stock image, you go to the project file, open the bullet stock image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside on canvas. This one is a neatly cropped .png file. Make sure to place the image right above all our layer. Enable free to example control T and give a clockwise rotation. I'll place it here, it's up to you, you can place it anywhere else. Feel free to experiment. Fine, once you're done, next we're going to drop in our helicopter model image. Go to the project file, open the helicopter model image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now enable free transfer will control T and reduce the size. I'll place it on left side top here. Once you're done, next we're going to add few color effects. We're going to make the model image brighter. Let's create brightness adjustment layer right above model image. This one. Now right click and clip mask the image so that all the settings will be reflected only to the model image. Now I'll increase the brightness to 24% and contrast to minus 8. Fine, this is before and after. Looks good. Next, I'm going to add glow effect to our background image. It looks a little bit dull. 
For that create a layer right above the background image. Fine. Now I'll change the blending mode to color dodge. Now go to color picker, select blue color, which is kind of dark blue green color, this one. Now pick the brush tool. There I'm going to select soft round brush, this one. Now I'll reduce the flow down to 60%. It's up to you. Make Feel free to experiment. Now I'm going to give a few clicks to create that realistic, sorry, attractive glow effect. Next I'm going with dog yellow color. Again I'm going to give a few clicks. This time I'm going to reduce the flow down to 40%. Give a few clicks to create cinematic glow effect. Fine. There you go. This is before and after. Now we are done with the image bot. Next we are going to add our tournament logo. For that go to the project file. You will see a pre-designed logo file. Open the file inside Photoshop. This one is a .png file. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. I am going to place it on bottom left side. Make sure to place the image inside logo group. I will place it here. Fine. If you want you can use your tournament logo else you can use this logo all you got to do is erase the date on the bottom here and you can add your date to erase the date all you got to do is go to color picker and pick black color this one black color now pick brush tool there i'm going to select hard round brush now reduce the brush size and paint black color I'm sure now you know what to do. Now add your tournament date or other information and you can use this logo. Here I'm going to leave it as it is. Next we're going to add our text content on right side. For that go to text group. Create a layer. Go to color picker, select black color. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give a link in the description. Now add your tournament text information. Fine, our text content is ready. Next, I'm going to add a line design here. For that, create a layer. Go to color picker. Select black color. Now pick the shapes tool. There, I'm going to select line tool. Make sure fill is enabled, stroke is disabled. I'm going to keep the weight as 4 pixels. Now hold shift key and create a perfect line shape like so. Now create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Move it down. Adjust the position using your keyboard arrow keys. Once you are done, now our text content is ready. As a final step, we are going to add a few color effects. For that, merge our, all our layers into a single layer by using keyboard shortcut Shift to Ctrl Alt E. Now go to Filter, Camera Filter. There I am going to increase the vibrance and saturation to make the poster a little more vivid and colorful. Next in the settings, I am going to increase the color saturation level feel free to experiment with the colors and make your poster a little more vibrant and eye catching and as a final step i'm going to add sharpening effect for that go to presets in the sharpening option i'm going to select light now click ok there you go our pubg tournament poster is ready so that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials, subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, take care.